What's going on, y'all? It's Don Who here with Drop the Heat. We here in live and direct in Barry Showroom. Shout out to the family. And I got a very special guest with me, man. Who we got here with me? The one and only, only one wild child. When the start coming, that's when they say I changed something. Come on, man. Lil Papa in the building. Florida in the building. In New York. What's going on, my boy? How you feeling, man? It's a busy day you have, man. Definitely a busy day. You know? what's, what's going on, man? I see you on Rallo Project. I see you out here. Tapping in with everybody, man. Talking that pain shit for real, man. And you in New York? What's nah, going on? Sure, sure. Nah, same on my head. Press working the um working the project. Half man, half vamp. I just dropped that June 24th. You feel me? And I'm trying to, you know, work that till I get them geared up for the deluxe. Word. So what you got kind of kind of coming up, man? You out here? You in New York? Going around place to place? What you promoing for, man? What you got coming up? What you want the people to really feel? Uh, like I said, I just dropped the project on um, Have Man Have Vent right. on June 24th. And then I got the, um, I'm going on tour. I'm about to get ready to go on tour. Yeah, I seen that with no cap. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm about to get ready to go on tour, no cap, for a month. So, like I said, I'm just out here gearing up for that. Word. How, how that, can I talk about how that came together, man? How you feel me wake up and then now I'm in tour with no cap? Like, yeah. and it's ready, starting in September. Yeah, yeah. out. You know, it's just be like, you know, um, post bonds and relationships, you feel me? Like, um, when I when we first both signed, because we both signed yeah, like around the same time, he was on some like um we linked, you feel me? Like right. through Instagram, like on some I was been I've been on his music, you feel me? But yeah. He had to uh, um tag me and something one time and I'm like that. So I tagged him and something one time. So and since then it's just been like a bond and relationship, whatever the case may be, but you know, it, over time it came deeper than rap, we realized like we almost like the same people. Type shit. In a way, yeah. So and you know, when it when this opportunity came for him, he thought about me. So Damn man, it's a blessing. Y'all about to go in there and fuck that shit up, man. Yeah, most definitely. So kinda I hear your music and you talking really that pain shit for real. What kinda like was that your influences and kinda learning about this music when you was first starting rapping? Who's really influencing you and putting you on to this, like for real? Mm, not really. The pain come from where you come from, the experience, for real. right? For real, what I went through, what I done been through, and just like the music, you know what I'm saying? My knowledge on the on the music tip, really just growing up in, you know what I'm saying? Like a one family household, like that that household where your 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 grandma, your mama, your uncles, your, your sisters, yeah. Them, you know what I'm saying? Like just being up, growing up one of them house. You experience, you know what I'm saying, and be you around so many different people. You feel me? All y'all the same. Y'all family, y'all blood, y'all related, but all y'all different in some different type of way. Right. In some type of way, you feel me? So you get a different taste of what everybody like. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like my grandma, she was always on the old school. Shout out, grandma. You feel me? And um, my mama, and you, of course, stay on that. Old school. I mean, my, my sister, she yeah. played a big part in what um, my auntie took. But my sister played a big part in my music. Yeah, um, man. So it's all connected, man. It's, yeah, it's all, sure. all contributing to the pain. Most definitely. So you've been in New York for some time now. What you felt like you've been fucking with since you've been out here and what's different from Florida, from being down south, and now you up here, yeah. it's a whole different vibe. Now, when I come to New York, it's always a vibe. New York, like, one of my favorite places to visit. I went stay here. Right. But it's one of my favorite places to it's visit. too much going on. Definitely too much going on for me to live on a day-to-day -day basis. But you know why I like New York so much. What's up? Because the shopping, y'all got the best shopping. Man, we, we, you came to the right place, man. Yeah, we in Bowery. Sure. I feel like New York. Get, <laughs> I feel like New York get everything first. Everything. And it's crazy. I think it's New York and Japan. Cause overseas in Japan, Japan, they be and on it like, early. I, I feel like y'all truck, whatever they drop off, and y'all truck, it go, it go to Miami too. Type shit. You go to Miami. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, I got, I got <laughs> show Florida. Like, yeah, Miami, I was showing Florida love, man. Y'all just had rolling loud. That shit like a movie over there. Nah, most definitely. Um, Always. What you call it, I was going to tell you. I was also going to ask, kind of really just getting into your music and all that. What we really fuck with out here, what I, what I personally been fucking with is Mind Over Matter. Kind of talk about how that song came about, because a lot of people in New York is really ringing that shit right now, and that shit is going crazy. Nah, for real? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. We bumping it uh, everywhere. Nah, that's crazy. You said that too in New York, like one of my top streamers here. Yeah, bro. I'd be surprised <laughs> every time I see that. That yeah, Mind Over Matter. I don't rock with everybody. Like, they ain't not friendly at all. Like, that's why I rock with New York. But nah, I was in the studio. One night, and I remember I was recording the song. My homeboy, um, Spins was in that Spin the Bins. I don't know if you heard him or not. Free Spin the Bins. He's from Jacksonville, too. He's an artist. Um, he had, um, he was in that sleep. You feel me? Like, right. he don't really usually be sleeping in the studio at all. 
he was in that sleep and I was recording my Nova Matter. And when I came out and finished it, he told me that night, you feel me? He was like, man, that you woke me out, out my sleep. You yeah. feel me? Like, with this song. He like, And I know music. I'm one of the people that know music. Like, For real. it's the one. You feel me? And I mean, you know, I slept on it. Like, I ain't really sleep on it. It was going to make the project. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't going to be a single. Type until shit. Until I went live. You feel me? And I played it on live. And it was over from yeah, there. Yeah, I would have told you the same thing, man. Drop yeah, that shit. That shit is hard. Right. But now, is any New York artist you looking to tap in with? I mean, you in New York. Um, nah, it's crazy because I ain't even, I don't really be like thinking that far too. Yeah, much. just you whoever want to work, I'm working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here. Where the love at? I'm just where the love at. For sure, for sure. Nah, that's fire. Um, so basically, for our last kind of question we got kind of coming up, what's one thing you want to tell your fans? That, what can they like expect from you? Nah, just more consistency. Lil Papa, you heard it here first, man. We on Drop the Heat. Checking in. Bow.